Today I'm going to be making a song with this, which is the Casio Tone MT68. It sounds a bit kind of funny and old and uh, it's got a lovely drum machine on it as well, which I'm going to sample. I'm also going to sample this, uh, which is the best of SDS. I'm not sure what SDS is, but it says that it's by the Tokyo Cuban Boys. There is a cover of Moon River on it, which sounds so good. Um, and I've been meaning to sample it for a while, um, so I'm going to give it a go today. What I can do to monitor it is turn this up. So this is the C and D on the mixer. And then to sample it, all I need to do is press the record button. If you wanted to do it in one in one button press, you could just record it without even monitoring it. So it's literally one button is all you need. So when people say that the OctaTrack is difficult to use, it's Sometimes it's not. <laughs> now you're here, you're like, oh, where's my sample gone? Uh, <laughs> so to find it, you need to go into a flex track and you need to double tap and it is in recording buffer one. So we've chosen recording buffer one. So we go onto here and edit. That's gold. All right, that, that bit in the middle is just, that's the kind of thing that you look out for. Um, you know, that golden bit in the sample where you're just, I don't know. <laughs> Every time I'm looking through a charity shop, that's essentially what I'm after. How do we slice this is the question. I'm gonna do my tried and tested method of doing a grid to start with. And then you go across here. If you hold down the function while you're moving it, you get the zero crossings, which basically means no pops. Um, I'm also gonna go into here and turn my slices on, quit that and then go down to slices menu. The problem is, is that it does sound great, but it's fairly unusable in a song. You don't want that happening all the time. I think with uh, them going up and then reversing back down, um, that's the sound that I think I'm going to end up using. Um, that looping one, maybe not so much. That's really cool. I'm thinking some pitching down would help it. Maybe, right, let's read it. And more in the territory of what I was after. I wanted it to sound a bit eerie. And then we're getting there, okay. All right, it's now a different day, the next day. I realised why people wear headphones <laughs> when they're recording with the microphone and playing music because the sample it was okay but the drums you just have this like slight bit of latency and feedback so then it was sounding horrible. Um, I also, my I film with my old phone camera and that stopped working <laughs> halfway through and I didn't realise as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do a previously on and then just, you know, explain what I've done. So we've got the sample as it was. That's fine. I added in this snare. I wasn't enjoying the drums from the Casio tone. I will use the Casio tone for the other melodies, but the drums just weren't hitting for like the idea that I had in my head. Yeah, if something sounds crap, I'm going to get rid of it, <laughs> essentially. Um, right, the next part. Let's see if you can hear it. So these are like asmr -y sounds that I've found. Um, 
I've arranged them. So that kind of complements that quite well, I think. I might do a bit more of um, setting when they come in. Um, so there's some more variety, but we're getting there. Uh, this one is a kick. Okay, so I think the next thing to do would be to start sampling the Casio tone. I have to have it over here because I bought a cable from AliExpress and it's so short, it's like two feet long. Um, so yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Right now we need a like a solid base to level that out because that's a lot of like high end going on. Um, let's see if I can't just find an easy base. If not, I'll do it the hard way. I've got to go to work in ten minutes. Let's try that one. Okay, so that's kind of like our boring base, just to give it some sub. Classic. All right, so we've got a bunch of bases there. So I'm gonna P-lock them in. what I wanted the baseline to do. We can put in a few little accent-y bits, I think. Um, but yeah, I need to go to work. Sad. What we got so far, I think we need another hi-hat, um, or at least a hi-hat, because I don't think we have one yet. Um, so I'm just going to chuck this down. Sounds, sounds like that. Pretty simple. I want it to be a different resolution, so like the scale different. So I need to go to function scale setup. And I want that to be half, which I do like that. Yes. So then guess it's important. Yeah. I always see people do that and it looks so fun, but I can never do it. I always catch my finger. How are you guys doing that? <laughs> All right, I'm copying that one, paste in, paste in. Right, let's record it in. So that should have recorded that automation. Yeah, 
it's doing something it's not I think it's bringing it back down when I'm not moving it but it sounds kind of cool so I'll just leave it at that to do a slide trig I'm pretty sure you do function and edit and then you go down to slide One final slot. What could we put in there? I always love a vocal. A really cheesy, ridiculous vocal. <laughs> to ruin the song and put most people off. And to disguise the fact that it is a basic loop. this but I'm gonna do something really weird with it um, that's that's not what I want to do I want to yeah I do I want to trim it and then I want to slice it create slice grid get ready 64 slices that's right uh, I want to what am I doing I want to have loop mode that one slices on slices all right maybe a bit less that's crazy great slice grid it's a very small sample i suppose let's try that yeah that's fun <laughs> and then That's what I want. Okay. No. And then I'm going to go into this and I'm going to do an odd number there for the scale. Put in a bunch of these. Ah, that's what I should have done. Let's do a percentage. I'm going to paste that percentage so they're all separate triggers and then I'm going to go into this edit yes slice create random locks so that should Let's put an LFO on the delay time maybe Change the page scaling because it was just a bit too random, which I'm not that random. Thank mm -hmm. you. 